Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and today we're doing another episode of Guns N' Roses True Story but the one criticism I've always heard from people about my channel is that Sid you focus too much on the user illusion days and the current stuff. You don't talk a whole lot about the old days and even pre Guns N' Roses days so today I want to talk about Guns N' Roses original bassist Oli Bike. So Bike was born in Denmark in 1955 and before moving to the United States he played with several Danish bands and recorded an album in 1979 with a band called Rock Nally and the Flames. In 1981 Ole Bike auditioned for the legendary metal group Merciful Fate. So according to Merciful Fate's guitarist himself he said that Bike auditioned for the bass position in early 1981. They did a few rehearsals with him, but they ended up going with a different bass player. So he was never technically in the band. So in 1984, Bike managed to join the band LA Guns, whose lineup at that time included Tracy Guns, Axl Rose, who at that time was named William Bailey, Bike, and drummer Rob Gardner. So Bill Bailey would end up leaving LA Guns to front the uh, rock band Rapid Fire before going on to form Hollywood Rose with Izzy Stradlin and Chris Webber. So to replace Rose, LA Guns brought in Michael Jagos, who would end up recording some material with LA Guns, but this material wouldn't see the light of day until 2004 when it was released as a bonus disc with the compilation album Hollywood Rock. So the following year, LA Guns would end up merging with Hollywood Rose and that became the start of Guns N' Roses. So the original lineup of Guns N' Roses featured Axl Rose on vocals, Tracy Guns on lead guitar, Izzy Stradlin on rhythm guitar, Oli Bike on bass, and Rob Gardner on drums. Now this new formation of Guns N' Roses would only end up playing one show with Oli Bike. And in fact, there was an interview that was recently done with one of Bike's friends, guitarist Robert Cromwell, who remembered the first show that Bike played with GNR. He said that Axl Rose had chosen to wear a pair of chaps, a kind of trousers without anything underneath. He said every time Axl turned around, one could see his ass. We laughed very much. Following the concert, Cromwell greeted Oli Bike and they shared a common interest in heavy metal genre and quickly became good friends. So the Danish musician was only part of the new Guns N' Roses band for quite a short period of time. He did not think that the others in the band were musically talented and he was interested in a more heavy music style, says Cromwell. He became tired of playing with Axel. It was not musical enough for him. I'm more of a metal fire, so Oli and I started hanging out with each other. So Cromwell described Oli as, as one who always went in jeans, cowboy boots, and a leather jacket, or his ACDC shirt, and the two blonde heavy fire were both excited to make lutes in Los Angeles. In fact, they became inseparable ballad warriors, and Cromwell did not talk about how many times they were thrown out of places. Unfortunately, things did not go well in Bike's future. By the end of his time in the US, it went downhill. He'd become depressed and also addicted to heroin, says the friend. It culminated in a failed suicide attempt, and he ended up returning to Denmark. On October October 16, 1991, Bike ended up dying in St. Jurgen's Lake in the center of Copenhagen. So not long before that, Guns N' Roses had actually played on August 19th in Copenhagen as part of their Use Your Illusion tour, and his family believed that he'd become depressed after leaving Guns N' Roses in 1985 and was heavily abusing drugs before returning to Denmark in 1988. Heroin and blood alcohol content of 0.148 are thought to have contributed to his drowning, but his family still believes it was a suicide. So that does it for this episode of Guns N' Roses Central True Story. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and be sure to share it as well. And if you guys love Guns N' Roses as much as I do, please hit the subscribe button. Take care.